This is in 2013, March 2013. Hello. We did that. I'm meet getting and another greet. photo. I'm getting another photo. Am I holding a pug over my head? Yes, that's one of the five I had from this day. <laughs> yes. We'll put that one up then if I guess it. That's up. Yeah, I, I was flicking through them and then as soon as you said that, that's the one that we lie on now. You look so happy, a photo, a photo by Tyson Elder. And that yep. was because back in, well, over to, no, don't let, I'm not going to tell it. You tell it. That's why I rang you up. What do you remember from that day? <laughs> Ugh, I mean, that was, we've always had funny stories from Victoria. It, it has a really great spot in our heart because it's always mid-tour, right? Because we started in Toronto or, I mean, back then, I think we were probably starting in Montreal. Um, you know, when you start that tour and you travel across the country and sometimes you backtrack a bit and then sometimes you play sports shows in Ontario and you dip into the States. And by the time you get to Victoria, the only place to go is home. But everyone is sick of each other by then. And like, I mean, Colorado was best friends in the absolute world. Like we, we were, we are, we are still a total family. We still text each other every day and hang out and do music and do different things together. But that doesn't mean we didn't go through a whole bunch of bullshit. And when you're halfway through a tour, you know, at the start of your career and you're not making any money and you're working hard every night and everyone's tired out and hung over. And Victoria has seemed to be the setting of many good classic band fights. It's just kind of halfway when everyone's had enough and it's time to turn home, but then you have to do that whole thing again. Yeah. And I remember that day um, was like, oh, we're playing Victoria. Like, I hope we don't have a bad fight because we've had some good ones there. I'll, I'll get into it if you want. Well, actually, you probably shouldn't. But, um, <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you're comfortable <laughs> with. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm comfortable with um, like uh, that bar, uh, Lucky Bar. Yeah. Love that place. That's where a lot of bands play on their like first show in Victoria. Is it still there? Still, I yeah, mean, still going. I mean, not 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 right now, but it's a no. staple. Yeah, it's a staple. It, it, so that's when you're a starting band and you're playing like clubs that size. That is one of the only clubs in Canada that is that size. Like, what is it? Like two hundred fifty, two hundred, or something like that. No, it's it's. I think its cap is one ninety. Yeah, so yeah, even even less. Um, so when you're doing those kind of clubs across the country, absolutely zero of them have a washing machine. There's, It's not a thing. They don't have a washer and dryer. I mean, some of them do, but they don't let like shitty band like opening for someone use it. But Lucky Bar is always super cool about like, oh, band, you're showing up. You must need laundry. So there'll be a, you know, a tour of three bands at, aren't playing big venues and you show up at lucky bar and all of a sudden they're like, Hey, does anyone have laundry that needs to be done? And you're halfway through the country. You're like, yeah, all of us have been wearing the same underwear five times. <laughs> There's one washing machine. And that is the source of so many band fights. Cause there's only so much time. If, if you have three bands on tour, then, you know, do the math, it's 15 people who want to do laundry and everything you own is filthy at that point. You're like, I just want to do some, but you want to do all your laundry. So all 15 band members can't do laundry. So you have to like negotiate who's going to do it. And then band fights ensue because of that washing machine. So. <laughs> I thought this was going to lead uh, us in a good direction, but I've been caught off guard. How do you then do what? Rock, paper, scissors for who puts the underwear in first or what? You just kind of go, it's like, you know, if you've been there before, you just know, like, you arrive, and then, like, you know, you arrive at a venue, the load-in time, and then if it's Lucky Bar and it's your third time there and you're, a you know, a starting band, you've been doing this for a couple of years, you just grab your suitcase and you don't grab one piece of gear and you just rush to the back and you go <laughs> right to the washing machine. Yeah. And three other band members have done the same thing. You're like, I'm first, I'm first, I'm first. And then there's one person who's like, I was loading the gear. I didn't get a chance to do laundry. Like, can I put some stuff in with yours? Like, oh, it's full. You know, and it's just like the stupidest little things are what can cause a great band fight. Um, so it was a real nice change of pace when we could show up at that beautiful ballet studio and you guys had an incredible spread of food for us. 
and uh, you had filled our uh, our rider thing, which uh, we didn't get it at that point from all the from all the clubs we played. Which we asked for clean socks and underwear on our rider, but you get it sometimes. But you guys had actually gotten us a rider, and there was like nice clean socks and underwear and everyone was happy because they're like, Oh, okay. It doesn't even matter about laundry. I got like four free pairs right now and <laughs> they're all brand new. And then we played a great show in a weird ballet studio. And then someone brought a dog and everyone was just like, Hey, maybe we just made it. Maybe this is a success. We just got the Victoria. We got clean underwear and we didn't even have to do laundry. And we got this dog to hang out with. We've made it. <laughs> so that's why that photo looks uh, like uh, there's happy looks on all of our faces. I mean, I can't see it right now, but is there happy looks on all of our faces? Oh yeah, no, you especially in the picture with you and the dog. It's like it's like it's your it's like it's your firstborn, and you've ju- you just <laughs> you've just witnessed an amazing thing, and you've lifted that baby. It's it's Lion King esque. It really is. You <laughs> so look grody. so happy. <laughs> Love it. It's one of those happy faces when your eyes are slammed shut and there's 58 rolls of wrinkles within the eyelid. That's the excitement and the exuberance of the, the moment. As I said, detailed explanations of these photos for you, Menno. I do what I can. So, Thank you. <laughs> I've actually also got that Colorado tour rider image from that 2013 tour as well. It's absolutely colossal. And um, I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger here to read. Nacho chips, organic, no... Uh, Tostitos, uh, cheese. Oh, oh, do we see? Oh, it has the no Tostitos on there. Yeah, no Tostitos on yeah, there. Oh, oh, <laughs> the, yeah, we took. We that, that's a funny one. We took that off after uh, we got this uh, sponsorship offer from Tostitos. Like they'd never seen that. And <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. And then, uh, oh yeah, no joke. Like uh, they never. Thank God they never seen it. But we played this show at South by Southwest and Tostitos <laughs> like. Sponsored us, and we're like, destroy all copies of the Note of Steel's Rider. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's so good! And it's the first one. It's the first line. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's 28 lines worth of step by steps here. The four pairs of socks and briefs. Uh, the penultimate last pairing of requests. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. And- and you guys, I, I seem to recall that at that one, we all had our own. It was like, it was uh, like four packs. Like you gave yeah. us all, like it wasn't just some places they would do like uh, four packs of each and we would get one. And that would happen once in a while. But, uh, you know, you got that radio station money kicking in and <laughs> we had a, we, we, and, and we, and we had a history and uh, we each got our own like four pack of socks and underwear 